Yes, in this video, I will be showing you how to buy and how to sell your coin on Bybit. Now, when we say buy and sell on Bybit, we are actually referring to sports trading. We are not talking about futures trading. Futures trading is more or less uh, like Forex, trading Forex. And I will not even advise that, at least in this video. I want to show you how to buy your coin. For example, you were told that, okay, so, so, so coin is going to perform for the bull run. Okay, go and buy and hold for, it for the long term. How will you do that? Or how can you do that? That is what I want to show you in this video. Now, and this case study we'll be looking at is PP. Is it PP or PP? P-E-P-E. -P -E. So we'll be looking at that. Now, in the video I made earlier, I showed you how to buy USDT using P2P platform on Bybit. And um, the vendor has credited us the $3 we bought. So here is the $3 that we were credited. You can see the $3 here. Now, for this video, we are looking at how to buy coin. Let's assume you were told that, okay, Pepe is going to do 100x or it's going to go ballistic in a few days. So, oh yeah, go and buy so that you can position yourself for the, uh, uh, for the moon. How will you do it? All you just have to do is to click on, first, login into your Bybit account. Make sure your Bybit account is funded USDT already. If you don't have your money in your Bybit account, just go to the P2P. I already made a video. If you check one of the previous videos we've done before, I already created a video on how to buy USDT using P2P on Bybit. So what you just have to do is to uh, look for a vendor that has all the criteria I mentioned in that video, a very good rating. Uh, uh, look at the, uh, the quantity or the amount of trade the vendor has uh, completed and all that. So make sure you use a good vendor, get the USDT ready in your account, and then you can now uh, start using this video to buy the coin. Now, in case the coin is not on Bybit, let's assume the coin is, can be found on Mex or BitGet or Binance or any other cent exchange platform. All you just have to do is that after you have bought your USDT using P2P on Bybit, all you just have to do is to transfer or you withdraw your fund from here to that wallet. I'm also going to create a video about that to show you how to transfer your USDT from one exchange to another. That will be the next video I'll be doing after this. But in order to quickly go to, uh, to what we have for today, all you just have to do is to come to this uh, come to this place. You can see that central button. You have five buttons at the bottom of your uh, of your screen. The first one is home. The second one is market. The third one is trade. The fourth one is N, and the fifth one is assets. Now, what is the meaning of this five button? When we say home, home simply means your first or landing page of the uh, platform you are using, of the exchange you are using. You would see a lot of features there. Now, the markets, markets in, market and trade. These are places where you will see the different coin or the different tokens that the platform is uh, rendering services on. Either selling, buying, staking, a lot, a lot of the services that most of the centralized exchange uh, offers. You will see them on this market and trade. Now, when we talk about N, that is where you will see all your all the coin you have stake. You know, this is where staking and all other forms of uh, passive income comes in from. You understand? Why asset? The last button here. That is where you will see assets here. This is where you will see all the coin you are bought, all the crypto you are bought, they will be listed here. You will see now, after we buy the coin we want to buy, you will see where I will go to, to go and check 
if my coin is in my portfolio. And when you sell also, they will pull the money from your portfolio and also credit you back USDT. It is not rocket science. It's not difficult. So for this uh, case study, we are going to click on trade. When you click on trade, I'm doing that right away. When you click on trade, it will bring you here. Very good. So now the coin that is already listed here is PP. It's PP. You can see PP or Pepe uh -huh. is there. Now, in case it is not, you don't want to buy Pepe, maybe it's another coin you want to buy. Maybe you want to buy Luke or you want to buy uh, Solana, Sol, or you want to buy Ethereum. All you just have to do is to, is to click here, click on that Pepe and type in what you want to buy. Let's assume you want to buy a Doge, D-O-G-E. Click on the search button. This is the search button here. Uh -huh. Click on Doge. Immediately you click on Doge, it will give you the list of them. So click on the first one. That's Doge USDT, which simply means we are using USDT to buy Doge. Doge USDT. So when you click on it, it will take you to here. You can see the paper has changed to Doge. You understand? And you can buy Doge from here. If you want to buy, you can buy. And if you want to sell, you can sell. You can see both buy and sell side by side there. Now, let me quickly take us back to uh, PP. Let me take us back to PP so that you will see, we'll be able to continue with what we are doing. PP, PP. You click on it. So it's the first one. You click on it. PP USDT. You can also use other currency stable coin to buy PP. If you have USDC, you can use USDC PP. You can see you can use USDC. If you have Euro in your account, you can use Euro to buy it. But for this uh, video, we'll be working with USDT TRC20 UR. Yeah, USDT. So we click on the first one, which will take us to PP USDT. Now, for this PP USDT, it's not difficult. These are prices that people are offering. These are prices that people are offering to sell. Why these are prices that people are offering to buy? You understand? Now, there are different ways of buying. You can buy at market price. If you are buying at market price, it simply means you are telling the system, buy at the, at the price it is immediately. Don't wait for any price to come. For example, if you are buying at a limit price, you are telling the, the system, okay, when the price reach 10 era, buy so, so, so a quantity for me. When the price reach 15 era, buy so, so, so quantity for me. When the price reach 5 era, buy so, so, so quantity for me. I'm using Naira because I'm doing the video from Nigeria. If it were to be in U.S. or other country, we'll be talking about dollars, we'll be talking about cents and all that. So, uh, that is the essence of limits. But here, you can do market order. If you do, now, you click here. When you click on that limit, you see limit. Limit simply means you want the system to buy the coin for you when a particular price is rich. When you click on market, which is the second one we are using, it simply means you want the system to buy the coin for you immediately. Buy it for you immediately. Don't wait. So we want to buy Pepe immediately now. That is how to do instant buying. If you don't want to do instant buying, if you want to do limit buying, you click on limit, then you will click on any of these prices here or you type it there yourself. You can also type it. Let's assume I want to use this 23705 or 706, 708, 712. You can see that 7. Uh -huh. I will put the quantity I want to buy here. If I want to buy 10,000 units or uh, this is um, 10 million units, I will need $237 to be able to buy that. You understand? That is for limits. If you place it, if you click on this, it will help you to place it, okay, increase balance because I don't have up to that amount. As in being I have up to that amount, it will show, it will come and show you here. It will show you below that you have placed a limit order here. It will show you under positions. You will see one there. They will put one. 
and it will show you that okay you have requested that the system should buy this so 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 quantity of pp for you at so 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 price and when that price reach here it will place the order for you on limit order but we are not this video we are not doing limit order we are doing market order so that you can buy immediately so all you just have to do click here click on market i'm using the 3 dollars to buy pp so what i have to do is to click on drag this to the left i'm using 100 percent of the fund i have meanwhile if you look at it it is still showing me 0 0.0000 usdt as a fund i have in the account why is it showing that the reason is because the money i have that three dollar we bought from p2p is still inside our funding account i have not moved it or transfer it to my unified trading account which is the first step i need to do so to do that i will need to come to assets click on assets click on transfer click on transfer so you click on transfer then here i have the money already in my funding account and i'm moving it to the unified trading account the coin i'm moving is usdt so all i have to click on is what maximum i'm moving everything to unified trading account so that i can use it to buy the paper so i'll click on max now and i'll click on confirm so when you do that that is sorted like that if you go back now if you look if you go back and come here you will see that the money that was previously here has been transferred to this place so let's go back to our trade our trade now when you get here and you click on market all you just have to do is to drag this to the left you can see the old three dollar has been easier now that we want to use to buy don't forget to choose buy so don't forget to choose market here drag according to the number of percentage of your portfolio that you want to use to buy the coin if i just want to use 50 percent all i have to do is to drag to 50 percent which is 1.5 dollar if i want to use the old portfolio which is three dollar i'll cl click on i'll drag to the old three dollar and it will show you three dollar here to show you three dollar here to show you so after you have done that just click on buy because it is market order the uh, transaction will be initiated instantly i've done that i've clicked on it all others feel successfully that is what the screen is showing now if i go back to my assets and i click on if i go to assets and click on unified trading i'll be able to see the paper we have bought there you can see we have been able to buy 126,524 pp at the rate of 305 usd can you see that now we have been able to successfully buy now if you just want to buy a node for the bull run you have done what you need to do just leave it with the way it is and go and sleep any day that the platform where you are or the person or you hear that okay or you see any news that this in fact you are supposed to be checking your portfolio every day any day you come here and you see that oh this coin has done reasonably well all you just have to do is to go and sell it how do you now sell it so that you will get your usdt back that is the next stage or the next thing i want to talk about the same way you bought that is the same way you will sell so how do you do that you go back to your trade which is the button at the center yeah go back to this trade and click on it click on that trade click on it when you click on it all you just have to do make sure that everything is at market order i want to also sell immediately if you are selling instantly you don't want the system to wait for any particular price you want to sell at the price at which it is you will use market order for that if you want to wait for a particular price that is when you come and change this to limit that is when you come and change it to limit so i want to quickly sell it now so that you will see how i do that so you choose sell you come here you first choose sell then you will drag i'm selling the, my old portfolio i will just click on sell sell button that's what i will do i'll just click on sell 
the minimum quantity cannot be lower. The minimum quantity is able to send something. The minimum cannot be lower than 280 uh, pp. Okay. Which means I have to increase the number of pp I have so that I'll be able to sell. But if you want to sell, that's the way you will do it. When you click on it, they will sell the pp for you instantly and move your money back to USD for you i'll continue the video i want to quickly get more more fund so that i'll be able to buy pp so that the whole of my money will be transferred back to usdt i will do it together just yes now i have been able to get more pp into the account i was able to put additional five dollars through using p2p and then i've been able to use it to buy pp so that we'll be able to sell it off now don't forget I have been able to show us how to buy PP so that you can hold it for the bull run. Now, let's assume during the bull run, your PP has appreciated so much. Now, your PP has uh, grown probably by 100x and now you want to sell it. How do you sell? That is what I was trying to explain before we discovered that we cannot sell the small unit of PP that we had initially. So now I bought more PP and now I want to show you how to sell. So what you just need to do, once you log into your Bybit account, click on trade, which is the button at the center of the page. Then when you get to this page, search for the token or the coin you want to sell here. We are selling PP. So when you search for it, the first one, which is PP USDT, is the appropriate one. You click on it. Then when you get here, because you are selling, you will choose sell. Change this to market order so that you can stay, it can sell instantly. Then drag this to the last option here, which is 100%. I don't know if you understand that. Drag it to 100%, then you click on sell. Now I want to do that. I want to do that now. So this is what I see, ask you to do. You click on sell. You have chosen market already here. You don't need to put any quantity here. When you drag this to the left to put all the quantity of PP that you have for you. So the last thing you will do is just to click on sell, which I'm going to do. Don't forget, immediately you click on this sell, it's going to sell it instantly because you have chosen market order here. If you want to sell at a specific price, all you just have to do is to change this place from market. You change it from market to limits you come and choose limits if you have any particular price in mind but i want to do instant market order so i've changed it to market change this to 100 percent and i'm clicking on sell you will see it sell it immediately now all other fees successfully so if you go back to check your assets your assets portfolio if you come back here to check your asset portfolio you will see that the paper that was there initially is no longer there what you now have is all your money converted back to usdt all your money converted back to usdt which is now 8.7 usdt now by doing this i have been able to show us how to buy any coin on the bybit exchange hold it for the bull run and when it is time for you to sell i have also show us how to sell it successfully without uh, needing any third party to come and assist you in doing anything. I hope you have been able to learn one new thing today from this platform. I need you to like, share, and make sure you comment on all our videos. Thank you, and God bless you.